This time I have one of these old fashioned looking gold farms that I haven't built in a while. However, this one uses the newer method of bulk hunting sand into soul sand instead of the longer, more complicated process of utilizing clay to generate gold. I have, however, built some farms in the past that used the longer, higher yielding clay processing method and some of them were pretty powerful. So if you are interested in those, please feel free to click through my channel and find something you like. And I'm also quite sure that I'll be revisiting that concept soon enough. Now before I get started, I want to remind you to click that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. Now after trying a couple of ways to go about this, I finally settled for my usual way of designing farms like this one by making them vertical with items coming out of chutes at the bottom after each step to get to the next step. This has been my preferable way of doing things so far, but it just occurred to me that almost every other person playing with the create mod prefers to use conveyor belts instead. And when I discovered that this farm I'm about to show you consumes about 12,000 stress units when running at the full 256 RPM, I figured that I had to build a conveyor belt version of the same farm, if only to compare stress unit consumption and overall design. So you will see that design closer to the end of this video. So for this one, we have an input for cobblestone. Now, I didn't include a cobblestone generator here because I also expect to dedicate an entire video to cobblestone generation very soon. Because there are so many ways to do that and all of them can be the best in certain situations. So in this case, I'll leave the cobblestone generator to you. Now, as soon as cobblestone finds its way into this input, this first set of crushing wheels will catch it and proceed to crush it, converting it into gravel. This usually takes just a few seconds for an entire stack, but you can obviously increase the crushing capacity by adding in more crushing wheels and doing a bunch of optimization. The gravel will then pass through this chute and into the second set of crushing wheels. Now you have to have a funnel sitting here or else only some of the gravel will get crushed and most of it would just pass through. And this is the same for the cobblestone crushers. The gravel will then be crushed and converted into sand, flint and clay and all of these items are dropped down through this chute and onto the cobblestone block below. As the items fall down, the flint and clay will get pushed by the fan air blowing in from here and into the funnel at the end. The funnel is set with a filter to only accept flint and clay. So the flint and clay will pass through and the sand will remain to be bulk haunted. At this point, the funnel takes the flint and clay into a vault which empties onto this soul fire, destroying everything. Now I went with the soul fire just so that all the flames are the same color and of course if you choose to you can always remove this flame and actually use these two items for anything you need them for. There's a ton of things you can do with clay for example, including generating a lot more gold. Now let's go back to this spot. We can see the sand accumulating here and getting bulk haunted with three different soul fires. See, I, I tried this with one fire and it was just too slow, not to mention that adding these two fans and connecting them was pretty easy. And once the sand is completely haunted, it will be converted into soul sand and will immediately get pulled in by the smart chute right under it. And maybe it's just me, but I do love the sound of soul sand being placed and broken. And down here, you can see that we have another fan that's pointed into water, washing the soul sand that just came through the funnel to finally convert it into gold nuggets and nether rack. And this um, reminds me of a time when I needed 50,000 quartz blocks for a project. This would have come in very handy. Needless to say, I, I never built that project. <laughs> Moving on, both of these items go into a vault which is a new favorite thing of mine to use instead of belts since vaults can extend to three blocks when in a single line or to six blocks when in groups of four. So they are great tools to transport materials and you will soon be seeing them in a lot of my videos. The yield ratio is going to be 12% for netherrack and 2% for gold nuggets. So this farm is furthest from being productive. However, it's pretty good for a passive farm that can generate multiple items, including gold from only cobblestone. And now that we've looked at the vertical 12,000 stress unit farm, it's time we look at the horizontal, some might even say traditional conveyor belt design 
for the same type of farm. And I guess it looks a lot cleaner and a lot more organized. <laughs> and actually only uses 9,000 stress units at the full 256 RPM speed, which is about 3,000 stress units less than the other farm. And that alone could probably be enough of an incentive to build this one. But I guess it's good to have both options so they can fit into different designs and bases. And to be perfectly honest, I will probably carry on building my vertical farms in general. Either way, and regardless of which one you prefer, there will be more efficient farms coming your way very soon. So make sure to click that subscribe button. But for now, I'd like to remind you to check out the video description below for links to join my Discord, to download schematics for both of these gold farms, and to find any other links or resources that I included for you. And for now, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.